YouTube, what's going on? YouTube, what is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, it's your guy. One more time, Deirdre Ellis Jr. And I'm back with another fragrance video. All right, Smell Good Family. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, doing great, doing fantastic. Positive energy and positive vibes, man. I hope everyone out there is truly doing well. All right, so um, we are back, man, with more spring content as we head into the spring season. And, um, you know, I know affordability, uh, cheapies, uh, whatever verbiage you want to use is uh, something that we all consider when we're making purchases or at least um, at least I think we do <laughs> but today I have options here man from the affordable range uh, anywhere between I want to say 40 to 60 bucks all right so you know in today's world man we see 60 ml bottles going for two hundred dollars and um you know things are getting really expensive out here especially in the fragrance world but these 10 right here you can get for you know like i said between the 20 and 60 dollar range so whatever affordable lane um that you want to find yourself in you can find something great um that'll hold you down during the transition season of spring all right so um in my opinion spring you're coming out of the cold air um, and I know some of us are still dealing with cold air, but usually around March, mid-March, late March, going into April, we start to see the leaves uh, turning back green and the grass getting a little bit greener and things like that. So I think the fragrances that we're talking about today kind of represent uh, the transition of, of spring. You get some freshness, you get a touch of green here, you get uh, uh, some brightness and so forth and so on. With these fragrances all right so let's go ahead and jump into it these are 10 of the more affordable um spring fragrance options that i'm recommending for spring 2024 all right up first this one is really good it's really really good i got this for steel um a few years back off a of macy sale and i literally got this for 40 dollars but i also seen it on discounters around that 40 to 50 dollar range it doesn't get talked about a lot but it's really good from the house of ralph lauren we have polo blue gold blend Polo Blue Gold Blend. Man, when I first got this, I, I, I was wearing it out. <laughs> I was wearing it out. So you got that Polo Blue DNA, but with this one, you have this ripe, sweet mango note that's in here, man. So take that Polo Blue DNA, that, that, that fresh and uh, green touches um, and, and a little bit of musk and just, just go ahead and insert some mango sweetness that's what you get here a little bit denser spicy um like a spicy kick from a black pepper in here as well just really really works now most of the time i wear this to the office during the springtime because it feels it smells like spring when i wear it so good choice the polo blue line is legendary but this one right here is a little bit different than the rest um, with the introduction of the spices and uh, 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 that mango aspect with the green touches as well. Um, still a blue fragrance for sure, but definitely has uh, some other things going on for it that make it a little bit more interesting. And you can get it for a good price, most importantly. From the House of Polo, from the House of Ralph Lauren, we have Polo Blue Gold Blend. And this is an EDP, EDP concentration for sure. Check your local discounts, man, for great pricing on that. All right, let's talk about one that's really slept on from this line. I wear this one exclusively in the springtime because that's exactly the feeling that I get from it. And it's awesome. From the house of Givenchy, Givenchy, Givenchy. We have Givenchy Gentleman EDT Intense. EDT Intense. Now from the bottom, it may look black on your screen, but it is a dark navy blue hue to the bottle. But this is the, this is an earthy iris type of vibe so you get a bit of freshness freshness here but you do get you do get some earthy touches in here as well a little bit of a spice not a little bit of cardamom spice in here but it's really good uh, almost a more sophisticated choice for the springtime great for the office wear great for if you're going to take care of some business or something like that but it definitely has a different feel from the other uh gavinci gentlemen's um in the line for sure like i said this is the more earthy um of them all uh, fresh uh, green facets um, the iris in here is still prominent with a little bit of a cardamom spice but this is really 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 good for the springtime and you can get this for an affordable price online this is one of the more affordable ones from the gentleman line 
and I definitely highly recommend it. If you're looking for something with a lot of uh, uptick in pace, but you're trying to keep that, um, you know, I guess I guess a little bit more of a masculine, um, uh, confident uh, confidence in your fragrance. This is one to look into for the spring. Very affordable online discounters. Check them out. I have all the discounters that I shop with in the description. Javanshi Gentleman, the EDT Intense, EDT Intense. All right, up new, up new, <laughs> up next. Um, I, it's it's a legend in the community, in Fragcom, one of the best blue fragrances that you can get, but it has a little twist to it, man. So it has some dents, dents, Eddie, or some dents factors to it. Powdery nature as well, but ultimately so good. From the house of Salvatore Veracamo, we have Aqua Essenziale Blue. Why do I say this is good for the spring? Well, usually during a nice spring day, at least where I live, you tend to get a little bit of a, a cool breeze in the air, especially in the morning and the late evenings. And then the day, and during the day, even if it's a little bit warmer, the breeze can be very, very serviceable. Well, I've come to know and find out that wearing this, when the breeze is really going in the springtime, really works. It's kind of like that spring air and this fragrance are kind of like a match made in heaven, so to speak. So you get a beautiful, you get some tonka, some cipriol oil here, some lavender, just really good. Like I said, this blue fragrance is a little bit denser than some of your more brighter style or shower jelly style. Uh, of blue fragrances. Uh, this one has a little bit uh, more going on. That tonka bean gets a little bit powdery. The freshness from the lavender is there. But that Cipriol give us, gives it a, a, a touch of earthiness, not too much, but you can pick it up for sure. So this stuff is really good for the springtime. Very affordable. Get you a 400 ml for around that $40, $45 range. And it works for any occasion. Very versatile for sure. From the house of Salvatore Ferragamo. Yes, Salvatore Ferragamo. We have Aqua Essenziale Blue. Aqua Essenziale Blue. Good stuff, man, for sure. All right, up next, another one that doesn't get talked about at all, and I haven't really heard it be talked about in any way, shape, or form in quite some time, but this is excellent for the springtime, very affordable as well. From the house of Lacoste, we have Lacoste Lone L Intense. Now, this is a great flanker of the original, which I really love. It has a beautiful um, orange and almond and uh fresh musky and, and and touch of green type of vibe in that one but this one is a little bit more intense in the title so what do you get here you get the addition of rhubarb in here as well and if you know about rhubarb it's a kind of gives off a vegetable fruitiness or like a veggie fruity type of vibe so you get your sweetness here from your citruses there's a green touch here there's a beautiful musk in this as well another versatile scent great transition scent from the winter going into the spring before we get to summer it kind of holds kind of holds summer at bay right so you're coming out of winter time you want something a little bit different a little bit fresher still want a little bit of fruitiness you want a clean musk you want something very very nice this is good like i said ultra versatile you could do anything with this it's good, very exclusive to the springtime. Um, you can get the original for very, very cheap and then you can get the L Intense for even uh, uh, just probably the same price or even just a couple of more bucks. But this still works in the springtime for sure. Now this is something I don't wear in the summer, not saying that you can't, but this is like I said, the perfect transitional fragrance coming out of winter, spending time with the spring and then it kind of goes right back on the shelf until we hit spring again, just for me. But it is good, I've worn it in many type of situations. Check it out, great price from the house of Lacoste. We have Lacoste Loom, El Intense. El Intense, beautiful blue matted bottle, very nice, all right? Up next, probably, not probably, maybe the most spring-like fragrance um, in this entire video, super affordable. Um, and it's dope, man. From the house of John Varvatos, I call him Johnny V. We have John Varvatos Artisan Blue. It should be called Artisan Green, but this is one of the beautiful, one of the most beautiful bottles I have in my collection. Love that netting, the style of bottle. John Varvatos really killed it with his bottle presentation. Just to get some of that in the air. Now, why should it be called Johnny Green? <laughs> because you get a lot of green in this fragrance for sure. Now, you get the freshness 
that is the overload in this thing. Get a little bit of a citrus feel, but there's a lot of green facets in this fragrance, and it's awesome. Great for a beautiful spring day. Let's say you and the family going to the zoo. Let's say y'all are just going for an out and about day at the park. Doing a spring day, this just matches. Now, it's great for summer too, but like I said, when you transition out of that cold air, you're going into the next season, the greens and the uh, the beautiful days with the comfortable temperatures um, really work wonders, especially where I am here in Jacksonville, Florida. And Artisan Blue just kind of fits the criteria for spring, for sure. Great fragrance, doesn't last all day, so if you're going out somewhere where you're gonna be going 10 hours, this ain't it. But if you're going out for a couple of hours, three to four hours, going to have a little fun, going to get some ice cream, take a stroll, take a hike, bicycle ride, anything like that, this is a great fragrance to consider and you can get it for a really great price on discounts. I got mine for 30 bucks. 30 bucks off fragranceby.ca, that's how much I paid for this. So if you're into more greener style fragrance with a blue touch, ultra fresh, check out this from the house of John Barbados. We have John Barbados Artisan Blue. Love this bottle, it's one of my favorite bottles in my entire collection, so dope, all right? All right, up next, let's go to the clone world, the cheapy world. This is even this is one of the more cheaper ones here, but let's go to the clone world, and this is stellar. Um, it's so stellar, it has stopped me from getting the original thus far. Plan on getting a bottle one day, but not yet. From the House of Paris corner, from the Killer Ood line, we have a revolution. Revolution. This is a direct clone inspired by fragrance by Amwaj's Reflection Man. Spicy florals and musk. That's what we get. Pretty nice atomizer for a $25 fragrance. And it's awesome, man. Spicy florals and musk. That's what you get. And this stuff is really, really, really good. Um, Reflection Man is better than this. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. But... It, it's the quality here is solid. The the the, the, the sillage and the performance is solid. That is keeping me from getting a full bottle of Reflection Man. Um, it's keeping me from getting it. <laughs> and so, I, as y'all can see, y'all can probably see the dent that I put in it, man. I put a nice little dent. I only had it since last spring. So, um, really, really good stuff. Very versatile. So, if you're into floral, spicy style florals, musky fragrance, this is something to look into. Um, the few times that I've worn this, I've been complimented every single time. My best friend's mom complimented me. My sister complimented me. My wife. I mean, my, my sister had a birthday dinner, had a couple of her friends comment, uh, compliment me on this fragrance. This is just one that's very, very uh, attractive. And fellas, trust me, don't run from the word florals. This is one that could definitely work, especially with the spices um, on top of the florals and that musky feel that you get for sure. From the House of Paris corner, from the Killer Ood line, we have a revolution. Very nice reflection man, um, inspired by clone for sure. Good stuff, great price. Um, you can get that around 25, 30 bucks for sure. All right, up next, another clone uh, fragrance inspired by uh, that has kept me from getting another original. And um, don't sleep on clones. <laughs> That's basically what I'm saying by telling y'all this. From the house of our moth, we have Trey Nui. This is inspired by Creed's Green Irish Tweed. This is a monster. This is a monster, man. In the air, you get green Irish tweed. Green, grassy, musky, uh, freshness that you get. The lemon verbena in here really stands out. There's some iris in here. Um, there's some, uh, some, some, a lot of different green facets in here for sure. Sometimes you get like some a fresh cut grass with like that sparkly mildew, mildew, that sparkly, uh, do not meal do that sparkly do first thing in the morning that's what this smells like and during the springtime is awesome now what i've learned about this i can't wear this in the high heat it's something about wearing this in the high heat that it comes off a little bit clean but in the springtime it is perfect spring elements train the wheat green irish tweed it just works 20 25 bucks off amazon and insures classic classy gentleman like fragrance for sure not for everybody, but this one is good. I've had this for about four years now. I had this for a long time. And as y'all can see, half of the bottle is gone. I mean, when you have the collection that I have, this is pretty good. From the house of our moth, uh, we have Trey Nogi. 
Train will be real funky bottle, man, but the fragrance is really, really good, all right? Up next from the house of Latafa, um, this is an interesting take on a very, very popular DNA. We have Latafa's Najdia. Najdia, all right? Look at the dent in that bottle, all right? Now, this is a take on Paco Rabanne's Invictus DNA, but it has greens in it, <laughs> all right? So there's also some lemon verbena in here. Some other green notes on infused into that Invictus style of a DNA. You still get a bubblegum facet in here from the sweetness, but there's notes in here of cinnamon. That gives it a unique touch as well. I really enjoy this. And another one that I only bring out during the spring. Now, during the summer, I'm wearing Hawass. And I'm going to get Hawass ice soon because I do like that one. And I find it to I find them to be kind of redundant, but not all the way. That's why I'm going to get a bottle, but we can talk about that later. But Naj Dia is Invictus. That beautiful DNA that we all love, the most of us love, but they infuse some green facets into here. So, really good stuff. Very cheap. You can get it for, well, the fragrance isn't cheap. The price is cheap. I always want to make sure I make that clear. So, this is great, especially if you're moving, maneuvering out and about during the day. Let's say you and your lady are going to do some shopping, or you're going to hang out with the kids, y'all going to take them to do something, or y'all just vibing with the fellas, or it's a whatever it is you know if you're going on a lunch date i mean during the spring like whatever it is this is something for sure that you may want to consider during the springtime because you can notice the difference of the original invictus dna and then you can notice um notch deal with those green facets really good stuff from the house of the top for very affordable online we have the top of notch deal all right up next it's in the name all right this is my favorite from the line um, it's almost borderline top 10 in my collection. I got a backup bottle because this one is almost done. I'll probably finish it this spring and summer. From the House of Banana Republic, we have Vintage Green 78. Y'all have heard me talk about this a lot over the past two years or so. It's great. Beautiful tea, fig, green-like fragrance, citrus, but the, the, the tea and the green and the orange, I think there's an orangey citrus in here. Just very, very, very nice, man. It just fits. Smells so good. This is a calming fragrance for me. I get relaxed when I smell this fragrance and when I wear this fragrance. It's really, really good. I, I wear this a lot. When I'm moving around, taking care of business, I'm wearing this. Going to the barbershop, I'm wearing this. So this is good for me for the spring and for the summer. Warmer air, I'm wearing it, all right? So, ooh, I almost dropped it. Backup bottle on deck for sure. I put a lot of guys on to Vintage Green, but it fits in the name. Great transitional fragrance coming out of the cold air, coming into some warmer air, spring, and moving into summer. From the house of Banana Republic, I love this stuff. We have Vintage Green 78. Don't sleep. Spend 20 bucks in your rack store and get your hands on this, all right? And last but not least, man, this is a very fun fragrance for the springtime, especially if you're going out having a great time, having some fun. This is very good. From the house of Abercrombie and Fitch, we got First Instinct. First Instinct, look at that dent there. I, 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 I used to wear this a lot, and I only pull it out lately like to go to the gym or if I'm going to run some errands or something like that. But there's a melon fast in here with some spices in here as well. I almost get... It almost gives off like a vanilla ambery feel in here as well, but I know that's the vanilla, uh, I know that's the melon, and I think there's a bergamot in here as well, really dancing with those spices, and there's a musk in here as well. So this is really, really good. This is a fun fragrance. I say just going out to have a good time. I say y'all getting on the boat and y'all riding. Let's say y'all or uh, you and your friends are going to have some fun. You and your lady or your significant other going to get some lunch during the day, during the spring fair, or I don't know, whatever you got going on just during the day. This is perfect for the spring elements and what this fragrance has to offer. Another $20 fragrance that you can get in your rack store online. I think it's around that $25, $30 mark. A really good secret weapon to have during the spring. You're not spending a lot of money, but you're smelling super good really good and this is one of those ones from the house of Abercrombie and fitch we have first instinct good stuff as you can see i wear my fragrances look at the 10 all right all right smell good family so those are 10 of the more affordable recommendations that i have for spring 2024 i'll have another style video like this coming 
in in the coming days and months as we uh, maneuver through spring. All right, so Smell Good Family, let me know some of your recommendations. What can you uh, tell us to look into? Leave them below down in the comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video. Are you rocking with my suggestions? Um, or do you not rock with them? I can do constructive criticism, but we're not doing no negativity whatsoever. All right, so again, hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video. Thank you for everybody who show love and support to this channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate y'all for sure. All right, so until next time, be cool, be safe, take care of yourselves. Positive energy, positive vibes. Y'all know how we rocking on this channel. And most important, splack it up, splack it down, splack that thing all around. All right, remember, what you put onto this world is exactly what you are going to get back. For sure. Like, for sure. Splack